this disabled, poverty-stricken man refused to give up. He trusted in Jesus, whom his eyes can now see. Now, I'm not sure if you notice this too, but here were many notable aspects of this man's faith that made him ready to receive from Jesus. It was faith that wanted Jesus. It was faith that knew who he was. It was faith that could tell Jesus what he wanted. It was faith that could call Jesus Lord. As you can see, the blind man, now healed and saved, began to follow Jesus. The way of Jesus became his way. Now here though are a couple of lessons we can learn from this incident. We should dare to believe God for the impossible. Great faith greatly honors him. As the poet John Newton wrote, Thou art coming to a king, large petitions with thee bring, for his grace and power are such, none can ever ask too much. What this also shows us is the importance of crying out consistently to God for mercy, even when others tell us to give up and accept the situation. The Lord will eventually hear you and answer you according to his will and purpose. In Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 and 23 it says, Because of the Lord's faithful love, we do not perish. For his mercies never end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness.